Welcome back to the weight room. Thanks for tuning in today to another edition, episode 151. And if you haven't checked out the most recent episodes, make sure you go do that. We've had some really cool guests on, um, just diverse backgrounds and, and experiences and things to to share and help with uh, with your fitness, your performance, your uh, training, whatever kind of aspect that you're curious about and wanting to learn about. We've probably had somebody on in the recent uh, in the recent past to to help you out. So go check those out anywhere you listen to podcasts. Obviously, you know where to find it if you're listening to this. But make sure you do subscribe wherever you are listening: uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Uh, YouTube, wherever it is, and then leave that rating and review. You can now actually leave a rating on Spotify as well. So I'd really appreciate that. It's super simple. Just open the app, go to the podcast page, and it's right up there by the uh, by the title. Just takes a second. I would really appreciate if you could do that. But for today's topic, today I just want to do a little bit of a check in. It's uh, it's January twentieth, and that means a lot of people statistically are struggling. And I know that a lot of people listening to this podcast are, you know, fitness junkies or gym rats or whatever you want to call it. You know, you love being active. You love all that stuff. But it doesn't really matter how experienced you are, how much you love it. It's tough. It's tough to achieve anything. Otherwise, it wouldn't be worth achieving, really. So I just wanted to do this check-in because, honestly, it's it's kind of helped me think about what I need to do as well. Um, but but really, how's it going? That's my main question today. How is it going? How's your resolution? How are your goals going? You probably have set something um, for the end of the year or six months, just a long term kind of thing. I think it gives us a little bit of direction, or at least it does. Uh, it helps me kind of figure out what I want to do, you know, in my fitness world this year. What direction do I want to head in? At least for a for a short amount of time, we can really accomplish so much over our our experiences uh, with our physical and and a lot of times even our mental uh, fitness journeys. But what are you doing? You know, how are you doing and and what are you doing? Are you doing good? Are you doing bad? And and I think there's a lot of people maybe on both of those. uh, You know, sometimes you can do good for a week and then do bad for a few days and then start up and do good for a week. But What we really want to aim for is consistency. That's the number one thing I think that I've learned over the last couple years, really doing this podcast, talking to different people. That's been such a consistent message is consistency. But if you're not doing too well, if you're struggling, and like I said, it doesn't matter if you're a pro bodybuilder, if you're a a, a strength coach for a, a college or a high school, or if you're, you know, a CrossFit athlete, it doesn't matter what experience or or love you have you can you can always struggle so so I think my first thing I do is if I set a goal I like to look at it and say okay I've set a goal but what are the actual actions that I need to take and if you haven't actually sat down and thought about that that could be a big reason why you're not making progress towards that goal because you have this goal of okay I want to take my team to this this goal at the end of their training year, or I want to, you know, have this much body fat by this time period. But if you're not making progress, you might not have sat down and actually thought about the actions that it takes to get there. And so let's just take it from a very basic uh, fitness example. You know, have you thought about how much, uh, how much water you need to drink on a daily basis or how many calories you need to eat on a daily basis? Have you thought about how many times you're actually going to be lifting weights or training that team? Have you thought about how much sleep you you may need or an individual athlete uh, on a general, obviously, basis may need? And, and have you thought about how you're going to present that information to an athlete or even present it to yourself in a lot of ways? So moving past that, have you set the specifics on the time? So you can have all these specific actions, but if you wake up on a daily basis and you just think, uh, okay, I'm going to get this done sometime today, it's probably not going to work out long term. You're just going to have too much chaos going on in your life, as most people do, and you're not going to get to it. And so if you've set that specific time, okay, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to go to the gym and lift weights at 630, then you don't have to think about it. You just do it. Of course, it's going to be tough at the beginning, but once you start doing it, make that your routine, it's just part of your routine. 
make that specific time to to say, okay, I'm going to go to the grocery this time and I'm going to prep a few meals at, you know, 6 p.m. on Sunday night. Have that specific when it comes to the time for each action, each activity. So you have the you have the 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 actions, the specific actions, then you need the specific time when you're going to really get that action done and taken care of. So when another thing that this does whenever you set that specific time frame, I don't want to say an exact time because maybe 6:31 on on every single day isn't, you know, realistic, but say it's between 6:30 and 6:45 I'm going to the gym. But when you do that, it really it it lets you see where your priorities are, what's important to you, what you are actually prioritizing. Are you prioritizing um let's say watching Netflix for 2 hours a night over spending that, you know, half that time doing a workout. So what are you prioritizing? And when you sit down and, and specifically say, yeah, these are the activities I want to do and this is what I'm going to do them, it lets you kind of see and it, and it ingrains in your mind that this is important to me because I'm making time to do it. I'm not just randomly finding, you know, bits and pieces of time throughout the day. Make the time. That's a big difference is when you start to get serious, you don't find the time. You really do make that time. And uh, it, it, I think you have to do it almost from a from a predetermined time frame. So once again, all this stuff, it doesn't matter if you have a ton of experience or a ton of love for what you're doing. It can be hard to get something achieved. So how are you handling that struggle? That's an important thing because we all, all do face it and we're all going to face it. So a few things you can do are, and it may sound a little corny, a little cheesy and and it's just another one of those things maybe to make just a few minutes for, but it could be helpful is journaling, you know, write down your thoughts, write down your feelings, actually not just your mental feelings, which are important to think about like, okay, this is, you know, working out this many times and this specific workout made me feel like this, not just mental, but actually your physical feelings as well. How are your, you know, your quads feeling after your squat or your glutes or your biceps or your whatever, write that down. And it can, it can kind of, almost make you, if when you go back and look at it, it'll make you remember, okay, that that's normal how I feel, or, oh, that's weird, I've never felt like that before after I do this certain exercise or I do this certain activity. Um, journaling can be important. It can be helpful. Another thing you can do is meditate. Take a few minutes each day, whether it be in the morning or at night or maybe even both, to think about your goal. Think about why you said it. Think about what it's going to, you know, what it's going to feel like, and then don't think about it for a few minutes. Think about nothing. Just clear your mind. You probably have a lot going on in your life. You probably think about what you want, your goal. You know, you think about what your body is going to look like. You think about what, you know, the, the sometimes add some pressure. Just forget about it for a few minutes. And that can kind of take some of that pressure off, that stress off. So meditate to think and then meditate to not think. Another thing we can do is writing down our goals writing down our actions, and then actually writing down your why. Once you see that, you see what's pushing you, it almost transforms it into something more real than, you know, if if it's in your head, that's great. That means obviously you're thinking about it. But if you can see it, if you can see what's driving you physically on a piece of paper, I think that's very powerful. I think it can uh, remind us it can almost power us to the next little bit of uh what's going on and then another thing we can do is think about if you're allowing yourself time to recover because if you're not allowing yourself time to recover you're going to get burnt out it's as simple as that so make sure you put adequate sleep into your routine make that an action of the day okay this is the action of going to bed at this specific time this is the action of getting up at this specific time and make sure you're getting what you need, what your body needs. I don't know if it's, you know, 45 minutes a night. I don't know if it's nine hours a night, but whatever you need, make sure you're getting it because like I said, you will physically and mentally burn out if you're not letting your body and your brain recover. And then another thing to consider, where is your flexible time? If you can find some flexible time within each day, this allows you to to maybe miss a workout or or do something or have something happen in your life that's a little bit different, but then you still know, okay, even though I couldn't work out at 6.30 because my kid was sick or because whatever it is, 
life just happens. We can, you know, sit here and talk about a million things, but there's another million that can possibly happen. So figure out where your flexible time is. So if you can't work out at 630 in the morning, okay, maybe I have uh, after dinner at 7 p.m., I can do a workout and I can get it done then. So you're not stressed about it after you miss it. You don't have to feel guilty. You don't have to think about it. Oh my gosh, when am I going to do this? I'm falling behind, blah, blah, blah. That can, that can take a mental toll on you. So if you know where your flexible time is throughout the day, where you can squeeze it in if something does go wrong, even if it's not to the same level, even if you can't get your best workout in, maybe you can't get to the gym at that time, but you can still do a workout at home, then make sure you're you're finding that time and then you're actually getting it done in that flexible time as well. You know, that's that's a big part of it. But just a few of these things, you know, try a few of these things out. If you're struggling, they can really take a little bit of, a lot of this is honestly just mental pressure off of you. So even though we're only 20 days into the new year, you may need to re-energize yourself. Because we, I think we get hyped up on Christmas and New Year and all the fun and all the partying and fun food and Honestly, even just setting a big goal can kind of energize us. Once all that goes away and we're 20 days into it like we are now, sometimes we lose a little bit of that steam. Even if we're making good, you know, we're we're taking actions and we're making good progress and we're doing what we should be doing, sometimes we just need a little bit of a boost. And so one thing we can do is talk to a motivational or support a friend. And it sounds kind of silly, just give them a call or even just simply texting them, having a texting conversation and just saying like, I'm excited about my goal. And maybe it's somebody who's kind of doing the same thing as you or something like that. But, and they're going to start talking about it and you're all, you're both are going to get pumped up and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get to the gym tomorrow morning. And that's just going to simply re-energize you and it's going to push you to not, you know, oversleep. Now I'm not saying don't get your sleep once again, that's important, but to not oversleep, hit that, hit that snooze button, or, you know, it's going to motivate you to not go crazy and, and hit a hundred cookies, you know, that, that night. Another thing you can do, watch a motivational movie or video. There's tons of motivational movies, tons of motivational videos on YouTube. Maybe listen to this podcast again. You know, if we're, if we're sitting here in February 20th and you're, you need to re-energize, just think about getting kind of motivated. And I don't think motivation is the key to long-term success. You know, I think discipline is the is the real key there, but motivating yourself along the way, there's nothing wrong with it. Using that motivation to kind of almost like hack your brain a little bit and get you re-amped up. Another thing we can do is think about the goal and visualize what your life will look like when you get to this goal. And I don't think that that the that the goal at the end of 2022 is the best place to be. It's the end point, but it's a fun place to think about when we take the actions and we stay consistent and we can think about what that looks like and what our, what our life will look like. And that's part of uh, the next thing, write down what your life will look like, how it will look better once you reach your goal, you know, at the end of the year, at the end of that six months, whatever that long-term goal is you set, write it down. How is my life going to be better? So regardless of your progress, remember, even though it's the 20th, we still have a long way to go in 2022. So don't stop and don't be afraid to start. We have, you know, we like I said, we have a long way to go in the year. We we can achieve a lot with what's left. But don't, you know, don't get greedy. Don't start thinking, I'll start Monday. I'll start Saturday. I'll start Wednesday. Utilize today and start today. Don't waste time because... You know, it's, oh my gosh, it's a, it's a Thursday. Why am I going to start on a Thursday? I'll just start Monday. And then, you know, the weekend comes and you're hung over and you don't feel like working out on Monday. So, you know, Tuesday, I'll start on Tuesday. Tuesday's, the, you know, better day for me anyway, blah, blah, blah. And then Tuesday comes around and there's a thunderstorm outside. So you don't feel like getting out and going to the gym. Just start today. It doesn't matter. Just start today. It's going to be your year, but you got to put in those, uh, those consistent actions So let's utilize it. Let's make the best of it. I'm looking forward to coming back on here. Actually, at the end of the month, I'm starting up a new kind of segment on the podcast, a new new thing where I tell you what's going on in my life and tell you what's going on with my fitness, my goals, my exercise, my whatever. You know, however I'm feeling in my fitness and my nutrition and my just overall health, 
We're going to talk about it because I think either way, whether I'm doing really bad, maybe that's going to motivate me to do, you know, start doing better and be more consistent. If I'm doing really good, I can share with you what's working for me and maybe get, you know, some, some tips and stuff out there to you and maybe motivate you a little bit. And I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a fun little thing I do, you know, at the end of each month, kind of a back and forth motivational thing and uh, just trying to keep it, keep it out there, keep it honest with what's going on. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure, like I said at the beginning, you are subscribed wherever you're listening. Thank you for everyone for your support on Instagram and and all that good stuff on YouTube, on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify so far. It's been great. Like I said, subscribe, 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 leave the rating and reviews. It's much appreciated. But until next Monday, make sure you start. Make sure you get that consistent action in and make sure you find time for it. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back on Monday.